The LG V30 has two rear cameras, a main camera with a focal length of 30 millimeters and an aperture of f1.6 and a wide angle camera with a focal length of 12 millimeters and an aperture of f1.9. As their fields of view are quite different from each other, this gives you great flexibility to compose different shots for an edit without having to move around a lot. The wide angle is also particularly helpful when you are backed up against the wall and can't move back any further to get everything in the shot. You can switch between the two cameras by tapping the tree icons at the top of the UI. The icon with multiple trees activates the wide angle lens. You can switch between the two rear cameras even while recording. There are a couple of limitations to consider when using the wide angle camera though. First, there is a fixed focus, which means no auto or manual focus is available. This isn't such a bad thing for a wide-angle lens, as it avoids unwanted autofocus shifting. Second, the wide-angle lens doesn't have optical image stabilization like the main camera. You can, however, turn on electronic image stabilization, which is called steady recording here. Another option that's not available when using the wide-angle camera is the ability to shoot in log profile. You should also keep in mind that the aperture of the wide-angle lens is not as fast as on the main snapper. This means it's not as good in low light as it can be seen here. And the color temperature and dynamic range doesn't match that of the main rear camera 100%. All in all, I have found that among all the secondary rear cameras that have become a commodity for most flagship phones nowadays, the wide-angle option seems to be the most useful for me as it gives you fantastic flexibility in all kinds of scenarios. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.